Hey guys, so it's the 10th of December today. Now I talked all about The Hobbit yesterday, but today I'm back to my own Lord of the Rings prequel, Born of Hope. So this little clip is just a bit of fun really. It was shot on the very first day by one of our behind the scenes cameramen, Neil Phillips. And he captured me chatting away on our way back to the village after shooting our very first scene, which was Beth Ainsley as the wonderful Gilrein up a tree, gazing longingly out and thinking of Arathorn. Um, we didn't use this shot in the final film for a couple of different reasons. One, another camera issue, but also because, if you notice, the wig is not the same wig as the rest of the film. And that's because the wig we had ordered didn't arrive on that day, it arrived the next day. So we had to make do with the temporary wig. I think it works fine in the other two scenes that were shot that day, which is the um, Aragorn birth scene and the nightmare scene, which are both nighttime interiors. But in the tree, it was a little more obvious. So we didn't end up using this shot in the end, but it was the very first thing we shot back in July 2008. So yeah, that was the start of it all in a way. So this is your trolley? This is, my, this is one of our trolleys. Yeah, just one of many? Just one, one of The cast two. of thousands. Which you, yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> Feeding the 5,000. That's for sure. So how are you feeling at this moment? Give, us, you, a, give us a, you know, you know how it goes. Good. No, I'm actually feeling quite good. Um, one shot down. One shot down, it looks really nice, um, I think. And actually I'm pleased because it didn't go according to plan. We were meant to... Um, we had to basically recreate the test shoot footage, and um, but hadn't sort of had a good chance to check out the location. Kept assuming that it was like it's just that tree. We go there, we redo it. The only thing was that there was a fence now around Westo that wasn't there before, and we didn't think it'd be a problem. And then uh, <laughs> where are we going to go? Is that real? Um, and so, but only this morning did I head there and find that there's about how many, how many feet to, to, to the tree probably, about 20, 30? Yeah. About 30 foot to get to the tree through like waist high um, nettles. stinging nettles. And we decided against that option. It wasn't that good a tree. Okay. So, oh, missing things. So you were scared of nettles, that was the, uh, the reason? I've been stung too many times. <laughs> so um, we went quickly scouted another tree. Because I scouted this area so many times, I, I did know that there would probably be another tree I think I'd seen before. And we managed to find one not too, without too much looking. You'd expect that, that in the really forest, nice. wouldn't you? You'd expect a tree. A tree. Amazingly, you, you think, oh, you can climb any tree, but lots of trees don't have branches you can stand on. <laughs> we did cheat slightly, we did throw up a ladder first, compared to last time where we made it to climb the entire thing. So, um, yeah, we're being a little kinder this time. But only a little. Are you tired? Um, well, I haven't had a huge amount of sleep, but at the moment I'm feeling in a sort of half, I guess it's hide behind the eyes, but quite awake at the same time. I slept in the water cabin last night. I shouldn't have actually done that. Nice. But I did work, I worked there until about three, which obviously also shouldn't have done. But when you've got stuff to do, you've got stuff to do. Just one question, have you got any chalk ices on here? Chalk ices? Uh, no, just um, fabs, some zooms, um, and uh, some magnums. Other chalk ices are available. What about feast? Uh, no, we'll get some though. They're good. That's not good. 